Okay, in this video, I want to show you how to create basically a fairly basic um, accounting equation, uh, taxonomy, and instance document, and verify that it's correct using three different tools. So we're, I'm looking at the UB Matrix Taxonomy Designers. This is actually for ta creating taxonomies. So to do this, all you do is you create a new taxonomy. Um, you let's see. Let's, I'm going to make uh, create a new concept balance sheet. I'm going to create a concept assets I make that part of the balance sheet um, I want to create the concept liabilities I want to create the concept equity and I have my concepts so I'm going to change the data type of these to monetary I'm going to change the balance type to debit credit credit I'm going to change the namespace prefix I'm going to make that abstract and I'm basically done so here you see the basic accounting equation created here now, I didn't create the instance document I actually don't know how to create instance documents in this tool it, it, I think it can, it can do it but I can't do it so the second application I want to show you is this application Pesseract so I'm going to create a new I have to get to this okay I already does that so I'm just gonna I'm not gonna use this wizard thing it's gonna it's got some pretty advanced functionality but I don't want to use that I want to show you semi uh, automated functionality so it's loading a document, creating a document, and the document is completely empty. I'm going to add a disclosure. I'm going to just add a new disclosure from a, a jig. Just put in the last network. I'm going to add a roll up. So there we go. I got the roll up, it's already created. I'm going to go in here. Create the concepts. I'm going to delete this. Call it a balance sheet roll up. So it's actually not a roll up, it's a set. I'm going to call this balance sheet. Line items. So I got all the labels there. So now I'm going to go here. And that's not a debit, it's a credit. That is a credit. These are correct. Um, Okay, so I edit it in the model structure and I go to the rendering and it's already there. So that's interesting. Huh, you don't have to. Um, you don't have to um, 
switch between taxonomy mode and um, instance mode. It's editing it right in. See how the fact table, the model structure, and the rendering, they're all um, there. So this actually has, this is not working correctly yet, but it's, you can see that you can edit it right in the different um, uh, views of the application. So this is a pretty sophisticated application. So now I'm going to show you a very unsophisticated application, but it's actually very powerful. So this is um, an application that I created in Microsoft Access. Um, you can define the terms. So I, I'm not going to explain all this, but basically the fundamental things, assets, liabilities, and equity. So if you want to add a new concept, I'll just kind of show you how to do that. Um, new concept, uh, namespace prefixed. And it asks you, is it a hypercube, a dimension, a member, line items, abstract, or concept? It's a concept. So if it's a concept, it has to have a data type. What is the data type? OK, we'll say it's monetary. And is it a debit or a credit or neither? And is it an instant or a duration? And you can put the label in here. I don't automatically do that. So I'm not going to actually keep that because this is already set up and works. So anyway, you can also add the rules. There's the rule, which I've already added in here. It's simply editing a database application. Um, and once you Put there, there. I'll show you the facts. There are the facts, and it, again, it comes from a list of the facts in the application. And once you get everything loaded, you literally you press that button, and it creates some batch files to verify. You create that, press that, you create the taxonomy, generate the expiral formulas. I just created the instance document and inline XPRL document. I'm going to validate my internal stuff. Everything seems to be OK. I'm going to validate using EB Matrix XPE validator. Takes a second. So it's doing uh, XPRL validation, calculation validation, and XPRL formula validation. OK, now I'm also going to do XPRL cloud validation to play it safe. That's faster. And here are all the validation results. So here. It, I can tell by the size of the file that they're all correct. So there's the instance validation, no errors, XPRO Cloud. XPRO Cloud validation. This is the formula validation. So there's actually two rules in here, a consistency check and a rule that checks to make sure that the balance sheet balances. And I'll call that good.